when, we're, when I was thinking about it, what would be a good title for the exhibition, uh, I, I was thinking of the mood of the moment uh, in, in the last year or so. And it's like so many things like keep cascading at, at, at us and, and uh, uh, interrupting what, the direction that we think our life is going to go. And so that phrase, what the, it's like this moment of apprehension and surprise and you can't figure out what's going on and uh, you're lost in a kind of complicated reality. Stuff keeps happening to you. One thing happens, you recover from that, then another thing hits you. And that's kind of the mood of the moment. I was trying to catch that uh, kind of reference with the, with the title of our show. I think a good way to think about my work is in terms of visual culture that we're all familiar with. Television, cartoons, the internet, and so forth. That's the language by which we learn to think about ourselves. I take that language and I try to reinterpret it and put my own personal view of, of uh, American culture and myself in relationship to it. Trying to get a, an art form that's both available to uh, many people, but also tells a very personal narrative. My paintings start with a kind of personal story and I try to connect them uh, to the environment that we're all in at a particular moment. Uh, in Amer uh, America now, we have a whole kind of uh, split in the culture, a kind of born-again mentality, a religious mentality, and a more secular uh, point of view. And so, some of that mo is, is in this work. It, this is the moment we're in, and that's uh, some of the iconography that uh, I rely on to make the paintings. Over here, one of the more complicated images in the show, it's mu very um, uh, multi-layered collage uh, with various contradictory elements of the culture at play. On one side of the, it is a kind of happy blue sky. The other side of the painting is a kind of chaos, an image from Black Lives Matters. Uh, uh, unrest, you have a very strong, uh, bold image of a white woman, a black child floating in space. There's some uh, confusion as to where things are located and what their relationship is to each other. That, I kind of feel like that's where we are now. There's a lot of confusion, a lot of things are up in the air, a lot of questions are open uh, to us, a lot of debates going on in the culture, uh, a lot of uh, a juxtaposition of seemingly uh, not related realities, uh, shifting and going through each other. And I try to get some of that energy into the work. You mentioned about your wall, it's kind of some part is nature, some part is the human graphical image. Uh, so one of the things that's fundamental to the work is you have a flat yes. figure often just in a realistic space. Yes, okay. So a natural environment. And you have so a mediated figure is located in a, in, a, in a kind of naturalistic or realistic space. So that's a kind of fundamental juxtaposition that I feel that we're very much mediated people and, and yet we, we exist in this kind of three-dimensional illusion of a, of a coherent reality. People always think that I, I have a very specific meaning in mind, but I don't. I have more like a poetic juxtaposition. I'm not trying to get a like, a, oh, this is the story. I'm trying to get more confusion, more kind of ambiguity than, a, than an easy answer to the meaning of something. It's more like a kind of poetic response to uh, the reality that I find myself in.